Hi everyone. Um, so last year, my brother had a, a girlfriend, and they were so in love. I thought like the relationship would last like long, but um, they broke up like five months like after like they started dating. And then um, a week after that, he told me that. Um, he was he was so serious, he was so worried, and then he told me, hey, I think, um, no, he's like, my girlfriend said that she was pregnant. And I was in shock because I was, I didn't imagine my brother being a father because he's um, 21 and he's too young. But I know that it's, he's not the first one, and there's people like younger, like having babies. And I was like, oh my god, what are you going to do? And he's like, I don't know. I was like, um, are you gonna keep it? And then he's like, well, it doesn't only depends on me, it also depends on her. But I don't know if I'm gonna have that baby. And then um, I asked her if she wanted to have the baby, and she said, yes, I'm not gonna lose this baby. Um, I know she's, um, th this baby's not guilty of what, I, what we did. And I feel like, I already love this baby, even though I haven't even seen him. Um, and it's been like three weeks, like since I knew that I was pregnant. And um, two two um, months ago, <coughs> um, she had the baby. And when I saw her, I was I fell in love with her, and I was so happy to see her. And then I imagine I went back, like I thought. Back when, when when my brother told me that she was pregnant, I was like, oh my god, how we how could we ever imagine? Of like we were thinking about um, like not keeping. He was thinking about not keeping the baby, and I was like, oh my god, that would have been so terrible because she's so lovely. I love her and um, she's so cute. So I I got interested in um, this abortion topic, and I wanna I I um. To, um, I want to explain to you why abortion is, is wrong. Um, uh, I also want to tell you the consequences, uh, the consequences of uh, having an abortion. And I want to offer you the alternatives if you ever um, have like any situation like this, if you ever think of having an abortion. So today I would like to present to you the problems with abortion and give you some alternatives um, to it that can reduce these problems. So, we, we already know abortion is wrong because it basically is murder. Even if some, some people don't think that it's murder, but um, who states when, when an embryo is already like a person? Um, um, the Catholic, the Catholic Church states that um, life starts when um, when the embryo is conceived. So it's already it's already considered a living thing. So um, so if we ever think of having an abortion, we're thinking about killing some someone. Because we think it's not a big deal, but we don't think about what the what a little person could be when when it grows, when it's like, when it's like our age. We don't know what contributions can make to the to um, to society. We can we don't know anything, and um, that's why um, um, I think it's more of its own. I think that having sex is taking a chance. Even you're using um, uh, protection or not, you need you need to be um, you need to be aware that if you have sex with your partner, um, you you um, if if she gets pregnant or if you get any any girls get pregnant, uh, you have to face the, um, the consequences. You could, it's your decision if you want to have the abortion or not, but. Um, I think that if you if you do it, um, um, you are um, you are killing someone. Um, I think pregnancy is a 
result of one of one choice because if we decide to have sex, we are also deciding to like take the risk to have a baby. Um, in the case of rape, we we actually um, that's understandable, but also like most girls, the majority of the girls that are pregnant because of rape, they are actually the ones that keep the decide to keep the baby because one percent of uh, the, abor the abortions are done only uh, are done to girls who were raped, and the rest were to girls that um, they just didn't want to have the baby. That they did it um, because they wanted to. Um, and abortion has serious consequences because it never goes away. One thing we think that when we get an abortion, it's gonna go. The problem's gonna go away. Like nothing happened. But then you start thinking, what if I didn't do it? Like, maybe um, uh, someone uh, had an abortion like two years ago, and then they start thinking, what did I do? Like, I, I could have had the baby, and it could have been a like, cure with me. It could have been, it could have been like one year old, and I killed it. I could have, I could have had this baby here with me, but I killed it. And. That's why the mother can regret the decision later, later because he private private uh, the baby to the right of living. Abortion also hurts the mother physically and men men mentally um, because not it, it doesn't affect her only like uh, mentally and it also hurts her when she's having the abortion. She well, she goes through a lot of pain, physically. Um, a woman can become men mentally unstable, and she can have symptom symptoms of, of post-abortion syndrome, which are depression, feeling of loneliness, um, like they have, um, they have an empty inside. Um, they can also feel anger to themselves because they had an abortion and they feel guilty, and they could they they can even have some suicidal thoughts. Um, now I want to offer you some alternatives that will make um, like if you face abortion, like if you face a um, unplanned pregnancy, it won't make you feel so bad about it. Uh, which are you can keep you can either keep the baby. Most girls feel like after um, a certain time, they start feeling low uh, um, towards the baby, and they decide to keep it. And if not, you could give the baby up for adoption. And there's a lot of um, couples that are looking for a baby, uh, for a baby, for a baby to adopt, and um, they would be happy to keep your baby, and they could raise it. And this is why I think you guys should think about this before you have an abortion. Before, if you face this problem, you could. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Francesca, you're not here, are you? Okay. Uh, 
keeping it short and to the point, uh, I thought the opening story was an excellent attention device that sets up the subject. It needs to go a little bit quicker because it does take you two minutes to ultimately get to the topic. We do know what your point of view is very quickly. I think on the value argument that you need to develop a little bit more than just the Catholic standard about when life starts. Uh, I think that there are people that might not share those beliefs, but that could be convinced that, in fact, it is a life that ought to be protected and valued, and that you could build some argument in favor of that. Um, there's not a lot of research in the presentation. You depend a lot on hypotheticals and some examples that you have. You've got a personal example that you use in the opening, for instance. But after that, that's about as much as it there is in terms of uh, supporting material. I think that that's really problematic. You make an argument, for example, that talks about uh, the consequences of having a, a child and uh, it's important for people to accept the consequences and then you make this visualization of, well, what are you going to feel like a year afterwards or you're going to be thinking about, oh, this, I could be celebrating the baby. And I, I think those are good emotional appeals, but that's all you've got is that kind of visualization that's going on there. There's no data that suggests that women have um, harmful effects uh, of, you say it's painful, I don't, that's your assertion, I didn't hear any information that support that. You talk about people having emotional problems subsequently and even being suicidal, I didn't hear any data to support that. That's all just an assertion on your point, uh, and there needs to be data in the presentation to make it convincing. If I stood up and simply said, having an abortion will make your life perfect and you will smile for 50 years afterwards, I'm providing as much proof as you provided just now. I don't think anybody would believe it, but I think that uh, you need to give us a reason to believe your point of view. So saying it doesn't make it so, you've got to prove your point. And I just think that there's not a lot of uh, supporting material in the presentation. I think that uh, the speech is actually pretty well organized. Thank goodness it's a little bit better structured than you've had, you've had problems with in the past. I thought you did a good job on that. Uh, the delivery, um, <coughs> You could be a little bit more energetic. The thing that I'm a little concerned about are the vocalized pauses. You have a lot of those. Some of that, I think, is probably second language issues. Some of it, though, is you need practice and you need to know the material a little bit better so that it flows more smoothly. All right, thank you.